Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. Now some Table View residents in Cape Town had surprise visitors during the recent floods. While rescue teams were busy taking people to safety, reptiles were forgotten. Snakes, lizards and chameleons were found uh, clinging to fences. Snake handler uh, Daveen Sansom was called in. She and her son are now being hailed as heroes. She talks to us now via Zoom. Uh, Daveen, thank you very much for your time. Just first of all, how many are we talking about? How many reptiles? Hello, good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Um, all in all, we caught 61 reptiles that day, which also included um, the uh, um, chameleons, skinks, things like that. Mm. And uh, in terms of uh, the message that you might have to residents, because I mean, I'm one person who uh, I don't like reptiles. Um, I am very scared of reptiles. So if I saw that in my house or in my yard, I'd probably want to get someone to kill it. So what would be your message uh, in that instance, especially uh, with those who are not experienced like me? Because even if I tried to save it, I wouldn't know which one is poisonous, which one is more dangerous for me, etc. No, look, um, it's against the law to kill snakes. Firstly, um Sorry, I don't know if I'm looking where I'm looking, <laughs> but anyway, um, if you do see a snake in your house, I always say to the people, if it's in the bedroom, close the door mm. and from there, put a towel down at the bottom of the door um, and call a snake handler from there. Um, yes, your closest snake handler, there are different snake handlers for different areas in Cape Town. All right, so the first thing to do is to try and get a snake handler. Uh, and in terms of what you've seen there in um, uh, the areas where you had to go out, did you have to uh, save, for instance, lizards and other types of reptiles as well? Uh, yes, yes. Look, um, I'm a qualified and registered snake handler with Cape Nature. My son is a qualified snake handler, so he works with me. And there were skinks, which are big lizards, there were 10 chameleons, there were brown water snakes, and the majority were scarp stickers. I rescued a Cape Cobra, which was very confused yesterday and very cold. And because they're sleeping this time of the year. So with the water that goes, that go, that's been uh, uh, um, coming up with all the floods, they, you know, get flooded out of their burrows and where they live and snakes can swim very well but they can drown as well and especially if they're extremely cold because they're cold blooded that doesn't help much hmm. and just lastly how did you and your son become snake handlers i mean am i correct in saying you need to be a person who's passionate about uh, these types of animals to be able to do it how did i become one i've always been I've always had a passion for different things in life. So, yes, they just so misunderstood. <clears throat> Sorry. If people educate themselves more about snakes, there'll be so much change out there with people if they have the understanding of snakes and why some snakes are venomous and why some are not. Um, there is so much to know and to educate yourself on they are really needed in the ecosystem to balance it out. Um, they food for other animals, same with them, rodents, all the pests. But as I say, going back to your question is, I've always had a passion for them because they were so misunderstood. And I just decided to do my courses and I had a brilliant, um, mentor his name is willem van sale he's with asi and i was through thrown in the deep end you know um he threw me in the deep end and i got to love what i was doing mm. all right so i guess the warning here is that whenever there are uh, floods um, you know you should be on the watch out and make sure that you have the number of yes. your closest snake handler yes all right <laughs> Thank you so much for speaking to us. And I understand just very quickly, Davin, that you were also even bitten by a snake while trying to rescue it. What happened? 
Um, it was a scarf sticker. They're very scared. So a lot of them were very lethargic and very, very cold. Um, and when I took him off the fence, he bit me on my left, uh, sorry, on my right ring finger. Um, there was some confusion about me leaving him there. <laughs> I did not leave him there. Um, I just let him bite on my finger because I had five others in my hand as well. So, yeah, that bite is nothing to worry about. It's scarf sticker is mildly venomous, but of no medical importance to humans or animals at all. Mm, sure. All right. Uh, better you than me, uh, Davina, must admit. Um, I am one of those people who uh, cannot handle reptiles. I'd rather uh, call somebody to come take it out of the house for me. And I think I'll take your advice. I'm one of those people who definitely close the door and put, um, you know, a, a, a towel uh, right under the door. Thank you for speaking to us. Snake handler Davina Sanson speaking to us there.